Hello, it's time for You Need to Know on Live Score, the show that highlights the players, teams, storylines we all need to be talking about. Let me talk to you today about the most underrated player in Europe, Villarreal's Gerard Moreno. 29 years old at his very peak right now, 26 goals and 8 assists in 36 games this season. 20 goals and six assists in 37 games last season. Silly numbers. This man is an absolute gunman. <laughs> Look, I barely knew about him, to be honest, until I got chatting to you two every day of my lives. And he came onto my radar, so I've had to dig in to find out more. And I think what's most interesting about his story is that he was such a late bloomer, right? He was born in Catalonia, came through the ranks at Espanyol, didn't work out for him, so he left. Goes in search of regular football, ends up in the third tier at Badalona. Um, and his performances there catch the eye of, of Villarreal. He's he spent time at Mallorca. He's played with a young Marco Asensio and, and Thomas Partey. But it's only when he was sold back to Espanyol at the age of 23 that he really began to grow into this player that we're seeing today. Yeah, he resettled, didn't he, back into his hometown. It was It was quite nice to see him get comfortable again. And the 2017-18 season for him is probably his breakout season, which is a bit weird because he was 25 at the time. It's not often you get players that break out of that age. Although Thomas Partey, who we played with at Mallorca, did a similar thing. So something in the water there, I don't know. But interestingly, his game did actually change at this point. He was uh, playing under former Watford manager, Kike Sanchez-Flores. I'm sure you remember him. Looked like Dr. House. And began to drop a little bit deeper, get involved into play, in play more, start to ghost around a bit more and... I don't know, maybe you could maybe call him something like a Spanish Thomas Muller or something like that. But look, he got 19 goals that year. Villarreal decided to activate their buyback clause. He goes back, he puts on the famous yellow shirt. All right, the first season is a little bit slow, but then he finds his feet after alleviating the pressure on those shoulders and scores the goals that pull Villarreal away from a, a very surprising relegation threatened campaign. And well, look at him now. Well, yeah, he goes into that, yeah. And, and interestingly, that Thomas Muller comparison I like, it was that moment where he went from being kind of an out-and-out -out poacher to someone who drops and gets involved in the build-up and then goes away and suddenly he's in the box without you noticing and the ball's in the back of the net. And since the start of that second season back at Virial, 2019-20, he had 60 goal involvements in 73 games, which, uh, 73 games, which is a goal involvement every 95 minutes in the last two campaigns. And if you take that down to this season... It's a goal involvement every 82 minutes. Just as a comparison point for you both, Leo Messi's figure this season is every 81 minutes. So we're talking a man who is has as many goal involvements you know, per minute for Villarreal as Leo Messi does for Barcelona. He's scored almost half of his side's league goals. He's the leading Spanish goal scorer in La Liga and accolade he also picked up last year. And in my head, there's absolutely no doubt that he needs to be starting as Spain's number nine in this summer's European Championships? Yeah, look, maybe. I mean, under former Spain boss, uh, Robert Moreno, look, not his dad, um, <laughs> he got those opportunities for the national team and he took them. Three goals, four assists in the first three starts in qualifying. Like, yeah, but, yeah, but he's not been playing that much under the current manager, Luis Enrique, who's also mm. just not his dad for, for the record. Um, he's, he's only, what, started... I think one competitive game. Yeah, uh, a couple, for, of, for, couple of friendlies, one competitive game. One competitive game, scored against Kosovo last time out. So that reminds Luis Enrique of what he's got at his disposal. But he's, he hasn't, he's no longer got this, this position to his own uh, yeah. in the Spanish team. Yeah, it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because you see someone score the amount and, and assist the amount that he did. And in those first couple of games, suddenly Luis Enrique comes back in decides that this isn't the player that he wants, that he wants it to be, a, you know, an Alvaro Morata in there. But I just don't think you can look at the two seasons that those two players have had. I don't think you can look at Morata's season and, and Gerard's season and go, yeah, Morata's had the better season. He should be my starting piece. So I would be giving this to uh, Villarreal's duel in the crown. And that's Gerard. Uh, he's their leading light. He's one of the deadliest finishers in the game and an absolutely lovely bloke to boot. And if you keep an eye on him, you're going to see goals, whether that's in the Europa League, in La Liga or this summer's Euros. Uh, and that's all from us this week, but we will be back later in the week for more on Live Score. We'll see you shortly.